morning, everyone. I, I had a chance to greet the president on the travels that I returned from last evening, where I had traveled both to Riyadh and Ankara. I had a chance to talk with in, uh, in Riyadh with the king, the crown prince, the foreign minister, uh, all of the United States uh, counterparts there. We made clear to them that we take this matter with respect to Mr. Khashoggi very seriously. Uh, they made clear to me that they too understand the serious nature of the disappearance of Mr. Khashoggi. Uh, they also assured me that they will conduct a complete, thorough investigation of all of the facts surrounding Mr. Khashoggi and that they will do so in a timely fashion. And that this report itself will be transparent for everyone to see, to ask questions about, and to inquire with respect to thoroughness. And I told President Trump this morning that um, we ought to give them a few more days to complete that so that we too have a complete understanding of the facts surrounding that, at which point we can make decisions about how or if the United States should respond uh, to uh, the incident surrounding Mr. Khashoggi. Um, I think it's important for us all to remember, too, uh, we have a long, since 1932, a, a long strategic relationship with the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. They continue to be an important counterterrorism partner. Uh, they have custody of the two holy sites. Uh, they are an important strategic alliance of the United States, but we need to be mindful of that as well. When I traveled and met with President Erdogan, uh, he talked to me about the incident. He told me that they were conducting their own investigation. Uh, we had a chance to meet with some of the team involved with that. Uh, he assured me that they would share their results with uh, the Saudis as well. Um, so we do believe that between these two efforts, a complete picture will emerge for what actually transpired here. And, uh, and we're working towards that. We're looking forward to that wrapping up quickly. And we expect that it will be done in that way. Mr. Secretary, why should Saudi Arabia be trusted to conduct a fair and impartial investigation when they're accused of the disappearance and apparent murder of Jamal Khashoggi? So we're all going to get to see the work front. We're all going to get to see the response that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia takes with this. When we see that, we'll get a chance to determine, all of us, we'll get a chance to make a determination with respect to the credibility and the work that went into that. Whether it's truly accurate, fair, transparent in the very way that they made a personal commitment to me and uh, the Grand Prince also made a personal commitment to the President when he spoke to him. I believe it was night before last. Do you believe that there are a lot of stories out there right now about what happened? Yeah, there, 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 are, there, there, are, there are lots of stories. There, there are lots of stories out there about what has happened. We just are going to allow the process to move forward, uh, allow the facts to unfold, and as they unfold, as we make a determination for ourselves about what happened there based on the facts that are presented to us, the United States will determine what the appropriate response might be. How long is there audio? Do you have any evidence of audio or video from the consulate that you can